Hey guys, Mr. Barnes here again, and I'm bringing you a video on how do you find uh, the relation or the equation, relation equation interchangeable from the table. Okay, so um, what we need to recognize here is we're interested in what what happens to y as x increases by one. Okay, so the first thing we do when we see a table of values is this thing increasing by one? It is, we're in business, we can go about our process. If it isn't, we gotta think about it a little bit more. Maybe I'll do another example in another video if I got time, we'll see. So what's happened to this as x increases by one? Well, look what happens. Uh, this is decreasing by five each time, okay? So it's decreasing by five, so we're subtracting five here, okay? This, of course, is a linear relation, that's what we did in unit four. Um, it's going down by five. Okay, as x increases by 1, y goes down by 5. So we start by writing our first part of the equation. So y is equal to negative 5 x. Okay, so if x is 1, for this it would be negative 5, 2, negative 10. So you see it's decreasing by 5 each increase of x. Now that's not our relation for this table because look, if x is 1, we get negative 5 times 1. Well, that's not equal to, that's equal to negative 5, but I need 19. So how do I get uh, 19 out of that? Well, the way I get 19 is if I add 24, okay? So I get negative 5 times 1 is negative 5 plus 24 is going to be equal to 19. So my relation here is negative 5x plus 24, and that's equal to y. That's my relation for that table. And again, you can test another point. 2 times 5, negative 10, plus 24 is 14. Okay? So you can test them, see if they work, and then you're in business. All right, let's try another one. This one's actually off your um, practice uh, final that I made up of uh, comprehensive final I made up. So this is a multiple choice question. So we're looking at what equation models the table. So we got my x's going along here. They're going up by one, so we're good. And we have my y's here. They are going down by six. Okay, so subtract six. Actually, they're going up by six. Sorry. So six going up by six. Going up by six, it's going up by six. So we start off with y is equal to six x. So if you were on the test now, you could go bada bing bada boom, shade in your bubble sheet, done deal, move on. But we'll find the plus two part as well. Now we have a special point here. We have zero two. Anytime you have zero for x, you always know that you're gonna have to add that two there, right? Because six times zero. Well, that's just zero. So in order to get two, you got to add two. So that gives me my equation. Okay. So guys, I hope that that's clear on how to find the relation from a table. Um, it's an important skill. It's a fundamental to understanding the stuff that's in unit four. Hope that helps.